Imagine the skies of the 2030s. No dogfights, no Top Gun nostalgia, just phantoms. Machines that fly faster than Mach 2, vanish from radar and command swarms of drones. Front and center, America's F-47, the sixth generation stealth fighter so secret, the Air Force only showed two pictures. Unit cost, $300 million, three times an F-35, enough to buy a small island. Washington calls it air dominance. Boeing calls it salvation. Taxpayers call it a mortgage. But December 2024, Beijing crashes the party. A J-36 Trijet in Chengdu, a J-50 Delta in Shenyang, two 6th gen prototypes in the sky the same day. Just proof China's sprinting for the crown. That's the fight. America bets on tech and money. China bets on speed and shock. The winner decides who rules the world. Chapter 1. America's Big Bet March 2025, Washington dropped its own bombshell. Boeing, not Lockheed, walked away with the crown. The contract for the U.S. Air Force's next generation. Air Dominance Fighter, the F-47, America's first sixth-generation jet. The sticker shock hit first. Early estimates pegged each F-47 at $300 million a unit, triple an F-35. Do the math. A single squadron runs to $4.5 billion before spares, training, or fuel. Congress nearly choked. <laughs> the Pentagon didn't flinch. The message was blunt. Pay now or lose air dominance later. And the specs? That's where it gets nasty. The F-47 isn't just a fighter, it's the quarterback of a digital kill web. Combat radius? Over 1,000 nautical miles. A full 25% more reach than anything flying today. Top speed. Mach 2 Plus. Sustained supercruise without afterburner. Under the hood? Adaptive cycle engines that shift between fuel-sipping endurance and raw thrust like muscle cars, tuned for both drag races and long hauls. The real trick is the loyal wingman. Each F-47 will command up to five drones, part of a swarm of 1,000-plus autonomous CCAs the Air Force wants online by 2030. Wingmen to scout, jam, carry missiles, even kamikaze if ordered. Think less fighter jet, more flying mafia boss pointing out who gets hit. Budgets bent to fit the dream. The Navy's F-A-22 was shoved onto the shelf. F-35 orders were cut in half. And the FY 2026 budget carved out $3.5 billion just to keep the F-47's assembly line humming. Politicians spun it every which way. The president bragged, nothing in the world comes even close. Most advanced, most capable, most lethal aircraft ever built. Boeing called it redemption after years of defense flops. Taxpayers just saw another mortgage, but the Air Force planted its flag. The F-47 is non-negotiable, because in the Pacific, numbers matter. And if Beijing's building fleets of stealth fighters, America needs ghosts sharper, faster, and meaner. The F-47 is that bet, a bet written in billions. 2. China crashes the party While Washington was polishing contracts and arguing over budgets, Beijing went for the showstopper. December 26, 2024, two new aircraft took off almost simultaneously in different corners of China. No teasers, no leaks, no glossy PowerPoint, just metal in the sky. In Chengdu, a beast appeared, a tailless triangle with three engines, something no fighter since the Cold War dared to try. Analysts quickly dubbed it the J-36. Its shape screamed all aspect stealth, no vertical tails, control surfaces serrated to eat radar waves, engine exhaust buried deep to hide the heat. It's big, too. Photographs suggest a wingspan broad enough to rival the US B-21 bomber prototypes, with whispers of a 25-foot internal weapons bay. That means long-range missiles, maybe even hypersonic payloads tucked inside a ghost-shaped fuselage. And Chengdu didn't come alone. Up north in Shenyang, another silhouette, the J-50. This one looked leaner, a delta-shaped twin-engine stealth fighter, likely a rival to America's carrier plans. If Chengdu's J-36 is the heavyweight bruiser, Shenyang's J-50 could be the knife fighter, possibly even destined for China's new catapult carriers. Together, they're a one-two punch. Air dominance at home and power projection at sea. The kicker? Both jets flew with escorts. The J-36 had a J-20 stealth fighter as its chase plane. The J-50 had a flanker derivative watching its back. It was Beijing's way of saying, this isn't a sketch, this is a working prototype. 
By March 2025, a second J-36 was spotted flying without an escort, proving the design was already stable enough to stretch its legs. And then came the drones. At Beijing's September parade, four stealth drones rolled past, one billed as a loyal wingman meant to fly with the 6th Gen fighters. State media bragged about stealth strikes, wide area surveillance, and autonomous coordination. Observers even suggested some of these drones could flirt with hypersonic speeds. Add that to the twin-seat J-20 variant, already rumored to control drone swarms, and you've got the picture. China's not waiting for the 2030s. It's already playing 6th Gen poker now. 3. Drones, AI, and Wingmen The 6th Gen fight isn't just about jets. It's about the gangs they bring with them. Both Washington and Beijing know the future isn't a lone ace pilot. It's a leader in the cockpit with an army of machines on command. For the US, that means the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program, a swarm of over 1,000 autonomous drones designed to fly alongside the F-47 and even the F-35. Each costs a fraction of a manned jet, with the Air Force aiming for about $25,000 a projectile compared to $4 million for a Tomahawk missile. Cheap, lethal, and expendable. These drones can scout, jam radars, carry missiles, or sacrifice themselves to crack open enemy defenses. The Air Force doesn't just want a new jet, it wants an ecosystem where the pilot becomes a battle manager. China, of course, has been busy. At the 2025 parade in Beijing, the PLA rolled out four new stealth drones, one described explicitly as a loyal wingman for its sixth-gen fighters. State media boasted they could coordinate autonomously, conduct stealth strikes, and saturate wide areas. Observers whispered about hypersonic potential. Whether true or propaganda, it set the tone. Add to that the twin-seat J-20 variant, widely believed to be a drone command node, and you see where Beijing's heading, a networked force where machines carry the risk and pilots direct the storm. So forget Top Gun dogfights. The next war won't be aces trading missiles. It'll be swarms of drones taking orders from stealth phantoms, filling the skies with algorithms and expendable airframes. The F-47 and the J-36 won't fight alone. They'll bring their armies. 4. Budgets, Politics, and Punchlines Here's the ugly truth. Sixth-gen fighters don't just fly on fuel, they burn money. America's F-47 program alone is projected to swallow $20 billion between 2025 and 2029 just to get prototypes airborne. Each jet, $300 million a copy, three times an F-35, enough to buy a private island with a runway already built in. The Air Force wants 185 F-47s and a swarm of 1,000-plus drones under its command. So you're looking at hundreds of billions before the decade is out. To pay the bill, Washington started moving chess pieces. The Navy's F-A-XX shelved. F-35 orders cut in half. The fiscal year 2026 budget carved out $3.5 billion just to keep the F-47 line alive. It's the Pentagon's version of robbing Peter to pay Paul, except Peter flies carrier jets and Paul builds stealth ghosts. Meanwhile, China plays a different game. No public hearings, no budget fights on C-SPAN. They just roll prototypes out of hangars and drones down Beijing's boulevards. Analysts estimate tens of billions pouring into programs like the J-36 and J-50, but you won't find a neat line item called Stealth Trijet in the People's Congress ledger. That opacity is its own weapon. Washington doesn't know how many prototypes China can crank out before the first F-47 squadron even leaves the factory. And then there's Europe and Japan, because nobody wants to sit out the 6th gen party. The GCAP Tempest program, a UK-Italy-Japan project, has a target entry in the mid-2030s with a sticker price of $35 to $50 billion. Each jet could run $150 to $200 million apiece, still cheaper than an F-47 but hardly a bargain bin fighter. It's powered by a new Rolls-Royce MHI adaptive engine, promises drone control, and is pitched as Europe's sleek alternative to always buying American. France, Germany, and Spain are running their own horse. The FCAS slash NGF, led by Dassault and Airbus. Their prototype target is 2029, full service in the late 2030s. Projected cost? Over 100 billion euros, making it the most expensive defense project in European history. That's 100 billion euros for a jet that so far exists in PowerPoints and CGI flyovers. But Paris and Berlin swear it's essential to keep sovereignty over European skies. Japan used to have its own FX program, but merged it into GCAP. 
trading full independence for survival. And Russia? Moscow whispers about the MiG-41 hypersonic interceptor and waves the Su-75 Checkmate model at arms expos. But right now, it's more smoke and mirrors than steel and rivets. With sanctions biting and budgets stretched, Russia's 6th Gen is a PR campaign more than a flight line. All told, the 6th Gen race has four horses, America's F-47, China's J-36-J-50, Europe's FCAS, and the GCAP Tempest. Each one costs tens of billions. Each one promises AI swarms, adaptive engines and lasers, and each one sells the same pitch. Buy me now or lose the skies. And the politics? Classic theater. In Washington, one president trims defense to buy votes. Another waves Space Force hats and brags about invisible planes. In Europe, parliaments argue whether to fund jets or green energy. In Tokyo, lawmakers quietly shovel billions into GCAP while Beijing rolls lasers and stealth drones past the enemy. That's the punchline. America bets the farm on a gold-plated ghost. China floods the board with fast prototypes. Both sides know the bill is insane. But in the 2030s, the prize isn't money, it's air dominance. And if you want to watch this race unfold, the trillions for jets even Trump would call very, very invisible. You know what to do. Hit subscribe, drop a like, and stay locked in. The skies of the 2030s are about to get loud.